Evan Gaddis became a World Series champion with the Houston Astros in 2017. He's had many big moments in the major leagues, but before all that at one point, he quit baseball entirely for several years. Evan Gaddis grew up playing baseball in Texas. He was a very good young baseball player, and he played for an amateur team called the Dallas Tigers. He was teammates with MLB players Clayton Kershaw, Corey Kluber, and Giovanni Gallardo. He also attended three different high schools and was on traveling all-star teams, as well as junior Olympic teams. With all of this, by the time he was a senior in high school, Gaddis was projected to be an early round draft pick out of high school in the 2004 MLB draft. He accepted an offer to play for Texas A&M University as catcher, but he became very stressed and had terrible anxiety. He began abusing alcohol and marijuana. Gaddis had to go to a drug rehabilitation center and did not go to college. He stayed there for 30 days, then he moved to Arizona and lived in a halfway house for three months. After that, Gaddis went to a junior college called Seminole State College in Oklahoma. Gaddis redshirted as a freshman and then played half a season but injured his knee. After that, he got frustrated and quit baseball. Gaddis got a job as a parking valet in Dallas, Texas after that, and then later moved to Boulder, Colorado where his sister lived. He worked in a pizza parlor and as a ski lift operator at a mountain resort. Gaddis was very depressed and was thinking about suicide, so he went to a psychiatric ward for three days. They found that he had clinical depression and an anxiety disorder. After that, Gaddis moved back to Dallas and worked with his brother as a janitor. It's too cool. It's weird. Is I just remember everyone's cubicle and everything, and I worked late. I know it's weird, but uh, yeah. yeah, I just used to clean this place, and now I catch for the Braves. After working there for a while, he moved to New Mexico and worked at another ski resort. He also moved to Wyoming and worked at Yellowstone National Park. Finally, in 2010, he decided to return to baseball. His stepbrother played for the University of Texas Permian Basin and told the head coach, Brian Ranke, that Gaddis was interested in playing. Ranke remembered Gaddis from his high school career and offered Gaddis a spot on the team. Gaddis had a great season that year for them, batting 403 with 11 home runs. After that one season at Texas Permian Basin, Gaddis was drafted in the 23rd round of the MLB draft in 2010 by the Atlanta Braves. He played in rookie ball that season and batted 288. The next season, he was in extended spring training after failing to make any opening day rosters of the Braves minor league teams. He was later added to the roster of the single-A Rome Braves of the Southern Atlantic League, and he ended up winning the Southern Atlantic League batting title that season. The next year, in 2012, Gaddis started the season in Class A Advanced and was promoted to Double-A during the season. After that, he played in the Venezuelan Winter League and earned the nickname El Oso Blanco, meaning the white bear in Spanish. In 2013, the Braves invited Gaddis to MLB spring training as a non-roster player. After hitting 358 in spring training, and with the Braves catcher Ryan McCann on the disabled list, the Braves added Gaddis to their opening day roster. Gaddis' first career MLB hit was a home run off Roy Halladay on April 3, 2013. He told me he was done, and I, there he goes. Oh, there he goes, he indeed. He done, Deep left, and gone. Gaddis hit the farthest home run of 2013, a 486-foot home run off of Philly's left-hander Cole Hamels. Oh, deep to center field. How far is this baby going to go? Out onto the concourse level. Gaddis played for the Braves until he was traded to the Astros before the 2015 season. In 2017 with the Houston Astros, he finally became a World Series champion when the Astros beat the Dodgers. Sanchez success. Here's a ground ball right side, could do it. The Houston Astros are world champions for the first time in franchise history. Gaddis has had a great MLB career, and it's amazing to think that at one point, he quit baseball entirely and worked a whole bunch of odd jobs. That's all for today's video. We'll see you next time.